original idea for chemotherapy diary started with Tracy. She was doing an assignment looking at nausea and vomiting. And then we got together to kind of have a look at how we could take the ideas that she'd found out further on. Whilst I was doing my research, we found that unless you recorded your symptoms at the time that they were happening, it was less easier to recall when you came back to see the doctor how severe those symptoms were. If you record them exactly as they're happening, it's a more accurate record of how the patient's been in between each cycle um, and therefore makes it easier for the doctors to help the patient have a better experience while they're on their chemotherapy. I think it's made a difference for the patient and also all the, the nurses, pharmacists, doctors who look after the patients as well because they've got a really good record of how the patient's been between their treatments and for the patients it's really good because they've got one place that they can look at for all of their information and also take some control over their treatment and what's happening for them. My idea was to create a poster to show the medical staff on the neonatal unit how to label up samples more effectively with the electronic barcodes that they used. The problem was that when they were labelling up the tubes, they were wrapping the barcodes around the tubes. In the labs, what we actually needed was to actually use that barcode. So to make sure they were all doing it the right way so we could use them in the labs, we made a poster to show them to actually strip the barcode down the sample instead of around the sample so that we could take them off and reuse them. Almost instantly what we found was all of the samples were labelled correctly so we could use all the barcodes on the first time. For staff it speeds up the process for them because they only have to label up one sample and they can send it to the lab straight away. It speeds up us being able to analyse the sample in the lab so it means the babies can be treated sooner and faster instead of having to wait for the results to come back. The idea was to bring the menus round earlier to the patients so they had more choice and more time to choose what they would like to eat. The patients' appetites on the ward change due to the treatments. They have a lot of chemotherapy so their mouths are sore or they have difficulty swallowing or with sickness. So giving them more choice gives us time to let catering know if we can meet their needs. So we go around a couple of hours before we give the meals out and ask the patients what we would like, soft things or cold ice lollies and things like that. Before we had the idea, we just used to go around when the trolley was here with limited options. If they were feeling sick or they were in a bit of pain, they didn't want to eat. So then all we could offer them after that was like toast or soup. But now obviously we can offer them a variety of things that they could eat. And we can change the eating times as well. So if they didn't want it at half past 12, it was too early. If they wanted it at three, they could have a, a lunch at three o'clock as well. My idea was to give women a kit with everything they need to get started to learn how to make a patchwork quilt, which will help them to stop smoking during their pregnancy. Quilting is putting together pieces of fabric to make a blanket or you can actually turn it into something. It helps them to stop smoking because it gives them something to do which occupies their mind. We can offer nicotine replacement therapy via a patch or a gum or spray, but as you can imagine, a lot of women don't like to take drugs during pregnancy, so having this kind of patch is a, is a better option. It's really important that women do try and stop smoking during pregnancy because they're more at risk of having a premature birth, a smaller baby, they're also more at risk of having bleeding during their pregnancy and having a miscarriage. And obviously this is something that we can do something about. Um, a blanket. Women have really enjoyed using it. They really feel so proud of what they've made. It also helps them to engage with the midwives who are supporting them because they develop a relationship as, the, as they see the quilt grow. It really has been uh, great fun. My idea made a difference. 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 
My idea made a difference. My idea made a difference.